What's up everybody, Corinne Deanna Lane here. I am back with another worship duet and this time I have my friend in worship, legend <laughs> in worship, Keith Dobbins is in the building. <laughs> Hey, what's up? What's up? Yo, so I'm so excited for you to yeah, be here. Yeah, I'm excited. First of all, too. I'm like, you know, you're like uh, so awesome in my world. Oh. <laughs> so, you know, Thank when you I so reached much. out like, hey, you want to like do yeah. it with me? You're like, heck yeah. Yeah, why not? What do you want to say? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I'm excited. Um, And I always want to tell people just how we met. We met at church. Uh -huh. Yeah. And like just our vibe you know what I'm saying like we just yeah. connected you know yeah. what I'm saying I'm just like just having a like heart you know what yeah. I'm saying for the father for worship and yeah. just uh, even just a like heart for um for people to mm -hmm. just like pouring into people mm -hmm. making them better than they are you yeah. Know? yeah especially in music mm -hmm. so um I just always want to tell people just our connection and how we met because it was yeah. just so um i think so great so divine that even led us to do just more things together yeah beyond the church that we both were yeah. at um so tell us who is keith dobbins what like okay you're gonna have to keep your resume kind of short because right. we don't have that much um, right, right, right. time in, right. Our, in our show in the segment <laughs> Well, but, yeah. for me, I'm just a funny guy. I mean, I love life. Yeah. You know, I love hard. I love deep. Yeah. Um, I think when I got saved uh, and got filled with the Holy Ghost, I, you know, it was so un, I was so unprepared for it, for God to just over, just blow my mind. Yeah. You know, and He's blown my mind for several years now. Yeah. And that night, I remember, I He literally turned my midnight into day. Mm. So it was a, it was like a road on the road to Damascus where he literally changed my name. Mm. And it's like, I, I, I wanted something different in my life. And then when I found him, it was the difference that I needed. Wow. And it, and my life has not been the same since it just wow. has not been the same since. And I, I, I look at the, at the miracles that God does and, and how he loves us. And I wonder why, who wouldn't serve a God like this? Yeah. So, and then like, as far as we are concerned, it yeah. was an instant connection, you yeah. know, worshipers, you know, like spirits, kindred spirits, yeah. they just attract. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. now your resume, you have oh, Lord. here. <laughs> you gonna tell my age, tell age, people. age. <laughs> Because I know you're you're a lot um, known, uh, I guess more, I would say more so maybe as like the one of the most wonderfulest choir directors. Choirs, yeah. Um, that you like put choirs together, yeah. massive ones, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like over a hundred people type yeah. choirs. Yeah, yeah. So like tell us about like just kind of your journey um, concerning that. Like just people that you've come across, people that you know you've done. Um, wow. I mean, of. I've done a lot of stuff. Um, I started, I love choirs. I love that that choral sound. Yeah. And I was, I was always intrigued by that. Mm -hmm. Like how do we make a choir sound a certain way? Yeah. You know, and it's all about voicings and individual voicings and training to get them to sound a certain way. So yeah. for me, it was always a challenge to get mm -hmm. anybody to sing, sound like one voice. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. I always say if you can talk, you can I can teach you how to sing. Wow. So I've done I've done a lot of choir stuff. I've done with the Florida Orchestra, the one that did the Whitney Houston uh, mm -hmm. thing at the football game, yeah. the national anthem. I worked with them. I worked with the Ohio State University uh, Orchestra with choirs. So I'm really interested in combining the unlikely with mm -hmm. choirs, like the orchestra and, and wow. uh, the operatic kind of things with the gospel. So now I'm looking about doing some trap music with the choir. So I'm trying to do something like that. Oh yeah, yeah I got a project coming out later on this year yeah we just gonna say no holds barred yeah you know be uh, authentic in who you are yeah uh, not try to copy someone else you know um, I mean I, you know now Corinne I can go on and I on know, I know. so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cut it short <laughs> I'm gonna cut it short but God's blessed me do a lot of things yeah 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 just Google them, okay that's it just that, yeah. that's all we'll know right right it ain't about me anyway so, right. so uh, before we get into this song um, tell us what does worship mean to you Worship is like a room. It's like it's like the house of God where he allows me to go deeper in. You know, some folks come to your house, they go in your living room. Mm. You know, just kind of got a kind of a, a superficial relationship with them. But when you get into an intimate place, you're taken throughout your house where mm. there's so many rooms to experience God. You know, every moment, every segment, every song creates a room or an atmosphere. So I like venturing into those rooms with God where I truly can just be myself mm -hmm. and adore him for who he is and for what he's done for me. Those that worship God must worship him in spirit mm -hmm. and in truth. The truth part is the part where you got to be real with yourself mm -hmm. because God already knows. You know, I've gone through this phase where God, I did this. He's like, I know what I did, <laughs> but I needed to hear myself mm -hmm. 
tell God that I wanted to be honest with him yeah. and it revolutionized my spiritual walk with him because then I was honest with myself yeah. a lot of times we do stuff so well, I, God didn't he was right there when you did it right you know so my humanity has to succumb to his power mm. so it's truly releasing who I am to him and when you do that he'll make you again another Whew. yes he will Okay. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes, he will. Let's just go into the Father. Okay. Amen. Amen. God is good. Okay. Yes. We love to call your name. It's something we cannot explain. That happens, yeah. When we proclaim your great name, your great name is you. Call your name. Call your name. We cannot explain. We cannot explain. That happens, that yeah, happens. when we, we uh, your great name. Oh, your great yeah. name. Oh, no, 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 nobody else.
never leave her Woo! this thing. Worship has to be a lifestyle. It has to be your life. The way you walk, the way you talk, the way you speak. This is not a light thing. The gift that's on the inside is actually the weapon used to fight. So anything that tries to come against is praise and worship that comes out. We are the evidence. We're the evidence that God is real. We're the evidence He is a living God. We show the world that God is real. Our lives have to speak even when we're not saying anything because it's not just something that we do, it's who we are. When you need it, it comes through, it comes out of your mouth. Praise and worship comes out of your mouth. When it's time to fight, it comes out of your mouth. Praise and worship will be your weapon. It is the weapon.